Today I will make my version of self-charging solar battery based on this paper. So the battery from this paper is really really interesting and for this reason I need to make my version of this battery. And of course for the start I will make some really basic self-charging solar battery. And to make this battery of course I will need some electrolyte which is 3 mol of potassium chloride. Prussian blue on this uh, filter paper. Some aluminium. And of course I will also use this indium tin oxide glass, which is this, uh, which is this uh, conductive glass. But before I will assemble this cell, I will show you how to make this Prussian blue. The Prussian blue is really simple to make because you only need these two ingredients. So here I have some solution of iron sulfate. But instead of iron sulfate, you can also use some iron chloride. And here I have some solution of potassium hexacyanoferrite. So here I have this potassium hexacyanoferrite uh, in water, and here I have some iron sulfate in water. And if I combine these two liquids, then I will get some Prussian blue. Here I have my 5 milliliter beaker. So first I will add the potassium hexacyanoferrite solution. Okay. And now I will add the iron sulfate. And, and immediately I will get Prussian blue. Really cool. So in this stage, you actually need to wait that almost all the water will evaporate and then you can use this Prussian blue powder for your active material. But instead of waiting that all the water will evaporate, you can just simply grab some filter paper and first to soak into the solution of potassium hexacyanoferrite. Then you wait that the paper will be dry and after drying you will put the paper into this iron sulfate solution. Very nice. But instead of uh, soaking some filter paper like I do over here, you can also use some um, now some different types of fabric or fibers or whatever you want. And now back to assembling this battery. Uh, but before I also need to say that all the materials which I use in this video, I get from eBay. The potassium hexacyanate ferrite, uh, the iron sulfate, uh, indium tin oxide, uh, potassium chloride and so on. Everything I get from eBay. Uh, and yeah, so now I will make that cell. The aluminium will be my, my negative electrode. Uh, on this aluminium I will put this separator, which is this uh, filter paper. The filter paper I will soak with this electrolyte, like so. Uh, I will also cut some small piece of this Prussian blue. A little bit more maybe, like so. Okay. 
also this prism blue I need to wet with the electrolyte nice and on the top I will put this indium tin oxide conductive glass but first of all I need to make sure which side is the conductive side Eleven ohms, so this will be the conductive side. And now here I get some mega ohms range. So this side is the conductive side. And now this Indian tin oxide glass I will put on top of this pressure blue. Oops, and here I have my self-charging solar cell. So right now this cell is charged, which means that here on the positive side we have this uh, Prussian blue which is in blue color uh, but when this cell is discharging then this Prussian blue will turn into some Prussian white okay so first I will measure the cell voltage what will be the voltage of this little cell Oh, and I get 1.17 volts, 1.18 volts, really nice. I will also try to run this LED. So here I have this LED with some voltage booster because the cell voltage is too low. For this reason, I will need uh, this voltage, voltage booster, which I get out from some solar uh, lamp solar garden lamp okay uh, so this will be the negative which goes to the aluminium and this will go to this conductive glass and it's not working why They are not working. Oh, yeah, it's working. It's working. Oops. So now I'm really interesting what will be the voltage on the load. Zero point eight volts, not bad. But like I said before, instead of using this filter paper, uh, which I have over here, you can also use uh other kind of fabrics or cells for example and yeah i also try to coat some graphitic carbon felt with the prussian blue and here i have this graffiti carbon felt which is coated with the Prussian blue and because here I have a little bit more surface area that like I get over here for this reason I will also get a little bit more power 
uh, and some extra power I will also get because this graffiti carbon felt is also conductive. So again, uh, I will put this positive active material on the top of this separator. I need to also wet the graffiti carbon felt. Like so. Uh, now in this case the voltage need to be the same but I hope that I will get a little bit more power. Oh, now I get 1.27 volts. Oh, this is even better. Really nice. And yeah, so the LED is a little bit more stronger. Cool. With increasing the surface area, I also increase a little bit of power. Okay, everything is good, everything is great. But I have also other plans to do with this one. Uh, so actually I will change the cell design. So I will not have the cell design like I have over here, but I will reshape the entire cell. And for this reason, I will need this beaker. And this beaker, I will fill with some Prussian blue, which I have over here. Okay, this will be enough. Uh, and I will also add the electrolyte, which is, potass which is the potassium chloride. And here I have my mix of Prussian blue and potassium chloride. Here I have some aluminium foil. This will be my negative. Let's check if this simplified cell version will also work. First, I will measure the voltage. So right now, at this moment, I get I get one volt. But I think that uh, my crocodile clip is touching the electrolyte. Yeah. So right now uh, I have one volt and the voltage is rising. I will also see if the cell will run the LED. Of course. Yeah. And 
então I have a little bit different idea for the cell design for this kind of battery and the idea is of using some flow type of cell design here I have my cell or the cells here I have the pipes the pump for the electrolyte flow and here I have this transparent electrolyte collector so something like this I will try to make but this will be in some another video but for now that's it and we see us in the next video bye